We're going to make farro with lots of hazelnuts and mushrooms, and we're gonna wilt in some greens at the end. When you reconstitute dried mushrooms of any type, you're getting that rich flavor seeps out and you're getting the benefit of the stock itself. Over here, I've got some water that's come to a full boil. Um, so we're gonna take a fat cup uh, of our pearled farro, drop that into the pot that we've salted the water, and I'm gonna add one small onion and a couple of bay leaves. We're gonna start with our second mushroom. These are called maitake, and then you pop them onto a baking sheet, and I add lots of thinly sliced shallots that get nice and crispy too. Spray it down with olive oil. Season it up liberally with salt and pepper. And then throw them in a 450 degree oven until they're crispy. We're making a beautiful and hearty meat-free supper. So I'm gonna take the maitake mushrooms out. We have our porcinis plumping, so we have their flavored stock. The maitakes are hen of the woods, are nice and crispy. We take them out and we lowered the temp on this oven and we're gonna pop in our hazelnuts to toast. I've got another large shallot chopped. I just added four fat cloves of garlic, grated or chopped. I've got a little uh, fresh thyme, and we're browning those mushrooms. Now we're gonna add our porcini mushrooms, but I'm let them cool for a second, use a slotted spoon, pull them out, and we're just gonna run our knife through, because some of these pieces are giant, and some of them are itty bitty. So we're gonna add in our shallots, and our garlic, our fresh thyme, of course our salt and pepper. Run our knife through the porcinis. Give this a nice stir. We're gonna add a little white wine and let that absorb. The farro's almost done. I'm gonna keep an eye on this. When we come back, we're gonna pull this all together. Right. So I'm adding all of the toasted hazelnuts down into the pan. I wilted in the baby kale. I'm tossing that around with the wine-soaked fresh mushrooms, the dried porcinis, the shallots, the garlic, the thyme, salt and pepper. Now we're going to finish the dish with most, but not all, reserving the last few spoonfuls of our stock. Lots of Parmigiano-Reggiano cheese. Then you're gonna hit that with a little lemon. And don't forget, we have all of our shoestring maitake and crispy shallots to pile in the middle. <laughs> 